Hi friends and family, Peter here again. Today we're going to be learning how to build our Azure nested virtualization. Uh, the reason behind this um, lab is to start from scratch so that uh, you can see how I'm building things in the back end and how I'm able to test a lot of Microsoft products. I do really appreciate your love and support over my study with Peter for 90 days and this has actually made me uh, a better person. <laughs> Thank you, uh, the discipline, and also for the people that have followed me also. Also, I'm very grateful and I'm very glad to see how progressive you are in your own IT career. So let's get started. Uh, please, if you do have any question, most of the PowerShell command that I'm going to run in this tutorial can be actually found in the below video. Thank you, and let's enjoy the journey together. So what I'm doing here is that I'm installing the Hyper-V features on the Windows Server 2022 that I've actually deployed from Microsoft Azure. So uh, the installation has started and then after that it's going to get restarted. So that's actually what it was doing right now. So we're going to wait a little bit to see. Okay, now it's come back. So I'm trying to figure out to wait for the server manager to load. So next, what I'm going to do here is to actually bring up a PowerShell. So I wanted to create the network to make sure that when we deploy our virtual machine or in IPOB, we'll be able to have internet. So what I'm doing right here is that I'm going to create a new switch with the PowerShell command and you can always find this PowerShell command in the description below of this video and uh, new switch the name you can name it anything that you want so I call my own internet net switch and I'm going to create the switch type to be internet also so after this command I'm going to run get net adapter so as you can see we already have a name switch type and now I wanted to get the net adapter so whereby I'm going to see the adapter on this virtual machine so you can uh, as we are able to see we can see the new one that we have actually created is the third one so we need that to create our net, uh, internet IP interface address. So we're going to do the net IP address dash IP address. You can give it any IP name you want. So I'm going to do 192.168.0.1. Then we do prefix length 24. Then the interface here, it's going to be the interface index of the internal switch that we created. So in our case, in my case, it's 15. In your case, it might be different. Most of the time, it's like of 15, 13, 21. It's all varies. So after that, I'm going to create the in, uh, internal interface address prefix. So based on the IP address I created earlier, so I'm going to use a command new net name, and I'm going to refer to the name of the VM switch that I have previously. So which is internal NAT switch. So I'm going to copy it because I, I want to make sure that it's the same name that I have previously. Okay, I copied that just to make sure that I don't make mistake. And I'm going to paste it. 
So now I'm going to put internet IP interface address prefix. Then after that, the IP address that I put earlier. So in this time, I'm going to put 192.168.0.0 slash 24. So if you're very good at networking, you can naturally play around with that. But for this video, that's what I'm going to use. And that's it. Now we already create a internet switch that will connect to my Azure VM to make sure that anytime that I deploy Windows in the IPv, I can actually have internet inside that machine. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to go ahead and bring up Hyper-V. I'm going to check. So I'm checking the vis uh, virtual switch manager just to make sure that the internet switch, uh, the virtual switch that I created earlier, it's there. So I click OK. So now, uh, what I'm going to do right now is to create a virtual machine. And let's see how that goes. Although there is another thing that we need to do here, whereby we need to make sure that we had a role. If you don't want to be changing the IP address and putting them one by one, we have to deploy a DHCP role. So, which is what I'm doing right now from the Windows Server machine. So this error message happened because I haven't defined the static IP address because it's a virtual machine. So I leave it. I'm going to say continue. Next. 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 Uh, restart if required. If you want to check that button, yes. And install. So let's wait for the installation to finish. All right. Uh, while you're waiting, it doesn't know. It doesn't take a long time. You can just grab a coffee or if you want to go get your tea now, it's done. So click on complete our DHCP and commit. And that's it. Close and close. So right now, we can see that we have our DHCP already uh, deployed in this scenario. So what we're going to do right now is to create a virtual machine and uh, let's keep rolling. So create a VM inside the Hyper-V manager. So next, give it a name. You can call it anything you want. In this case, I'm going to call it PC01. I'm going to click on next. All right. Uh, before that, uh, you need to verify where you want to start the uh, pieces. So in my case, I'm going to install it inside my E drive. That make it easy for me to delete or throw away if I don't need it anymore. I will choose generation two. Then I'm going to give it more memory just because I have some and I want it to be really fast. So I select my internet switch that I created earlier. Next, and uh, here I will decide to give it a uh, 60. Next, and then choose my installation media for Windows 10 that I actually downloaded before this uh, video. Next, finish. If I'm going too fast, I'll be very glad if you have a question to help you to set up this if for some reason you are getting an um, error message. So I started my PC. That was a mistake. I, I didn't click on the 
enter button at the beginning so right now I'm doing that so it's gonna take me a while while I set up this installation of video but I'm going to fast forward the video so that you just don't have to wait so I just I like Windows 10 Pro so I'm going to choose that you can choose anything that you want I just choose Windows 10 Pro, uh, Pro in my case then accept the terms license and then choose uh, next and next so I'm going to fast forward the video so that you don't have to wait so while the video is fast forwarding you can grab some coffee or just stay a little bit just to see what the process looked like now the personal customization you can always do it the way you want it all right the reason why it's showing that I don't have internet at the moment is because I forget to actually fully set up the fully set up the the DHCP to automatically assign IP address to the device but it's something that we can do later I'm going to show you how I did that so now our device is actually setting up I actually have to <laughs> fast forward the video so that you don't have to wait done if you look at this you would notice that I don't I don't have internet on the right side so so I have to go find a DHCP right click on it and I'm going to select DHCP manager so what am I going to do here? I'm going to right click on the dev lab and I'm going to IPv4 in my case and I'm going to add a scope, new scope. You can give it any name that you want. So I'm going to call my dev lab and I'm going to specify the IP address that I actually selected or defined at the beginning of the video when I'm creating my switch. So in this case, we're not going to need a lot of IP address, but I just like playing around with them. So I'm going to do 192.168.0 Android and 200. We click on next. So next. Next. Yes, I want to configure these three options now. Now, I'm going to define my IP address, which is going to be the IP address that I actually specify during the time that I, I schedule, I mean, I create my switch. So, it's always going to be the same every time, but make sure that you did not make any mistake here when you are pushing in your own IP address. Because I, I make mistake uh, one time when I'm doing that, so I don't want you to make mistake. And immediately you see that <laughs> I have internet on that computer immediately once you configure to actually have the DSCP to automatically assign IP to any machine that is actually on the network you will see that I have internet right now yeah let's test it out so let's go to bing.com yeah here we go. That's looking nice right now. Let's go to Microsoft.com. Yeah, it's working. Mm, let's go to portal.azure.com. Yeah, looks like we're on the internet right now. So our nested virtualization is actually working. So we're able to have internet if we're going to be creating any any machine right now it's going to automatically have internet 
So in the next video, I'm going to continue our, our journey. The journey right here is to have uh, to create an intern tenant to be able to do device enrollment, autopilot, and how we can set up our own intern labs for free without having without needing to have a credit card or anything like that. If you do have a if you do have any question or you are having difficulties in actually deploying this lab, please do let me know. You can put a comment in the comment section or you can just connect with me on LinkedIn and uh, I can connect with you. We can actually schedule a meeting where I can connect with you and uh, I can help you out. Or if you have a question, just reach out to me. Thank you so much. I hope this video actually help you to deploy your nested visualization. The same thing that we did right here, we can actually do it on a computer if you have uh, enough memory and enough space to be able to host a different machine. With that being said, thank you so much for your time and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.